what do you think about women being pastors? Ooh. Ooh. I think we're about out of time. It doesn't matter what I think. What does the Bible say? Okay, if you go to Second uh, Timothy? First Timothy 2. Yep. First Timothy 2, and there are two views on this, okay? One view is that uh, this is saying that a woman can't be a senior pastor, but can be a pastor, okay? Um, another view that my friend Greg Kokel talks, uh, the guy who wrote the book Tactics, talks about is he doesn't even think that that passage is talking about the church. He thinks he's talking about marriage because those words, um, man and woman, could be translated husband and wife, okay? But the traditional view and probably the true view is that God wants the man to be the senior pastor and women can do anything else other than senior pastor. That's what it appears to be. Now, this doesn't mean that women are inferior any more than Christ is inferior to the Father. The Trinity is our model for all relationships. Uh, God and the Father and Jesus are equally God. They're equally divine, but they have different roles, different functions. Same thing is true when it comes to male pastors and women in the church. Same thing is true in a marriage. Men and women are essentially the same, but they have different roles in a relationship. And if Jesus can submit his will to the Father, then we could submit our will to people that we deal with as well. Right? So based on that, um, it strictly applies to the church and not like the church is the body of Christ as in like women and leadership in general. It's specific to the building the church. Well, the, the, the church means the body of believers. doesn't mean a building. Right. So okay. by, the, by the, I guess, the belief of women are not to be in leadership in church. I don't see women can't be in leadership. That okay. doesn't say that, okay? But if that's the case, there are very few churches okay. that actually do that. I mean, if women can't teach, right. according to some views, right. these are the same people who have women teaching the kids in first and second, third grade. I mean, what, why? Mm-hmm. You know, if you're going to say that women can't teach at all, that, that's not the proper reading of that passage. Okay. okay. The proper reading, if we're interpreting that section right, and admittedly it's a difficult mm-hmm. section, the proper reading, if it does apply to the church, is that the man ought to be the senior pastor. But, you know, there were, even some are saying there were women apostles. If you look at the end of Romans, there's a couple of women that appear to be apostles in there. So women had every role imaginable except the senior pastor of the of the congregation thank you all right all right blasphemy did you ever thought about giving your wife a chance to preach (laughs) or is it was it okay for the women to preach i never had such a thought (laughs) never no, it's not okay for the women to preach. Uh, I permit not a woman to teach or take authority over a man, but to learn in silence. It, that's very clear in Scripture. A great force of the women who publish the good news. Uh, God uses women. Um, I, that what Paul says to Timothy, she is saved in childbearing, uh, living a chaste life, raising godly children. That's her legacy. That's her impact on the world. Uh, uh, women evangelize, women teach other women, women teach children, women, women give instruction and counsel, wise counsel uh, and s- spiritual wisdom to their own husbands. But the order of the church is that the, God is the head of Christ, Christ is the head of the man, the man is the head of the woman, 1 Corinthians 11. And that's the order that God has designed in the church. Uh, and that's modeled by Christ's submission to His own Father. So. There's not even any doubt in Scripture about the issue of women preaching because you you can think of it a lot of ways. One would be this. How many of the 66 books of the Bible were written by women? None. None. Wouldn't you think that that if women were supposed to have equal authority to preach and teach in the church that the Lord would have at least allowed one of them to write a book in the Bible? No, it's, it's clearly demonstrated by the authority of the biblical writers that the man is put in that position. How many of the apostles were women? None of them. None of them. The, the, the Old Testament prophets, there were no women prophets with an ongoing sustained prophetic ministry. Occasionally there were women who, who spoke 
like um, Deborah, Deborah, Huldah, the daughters of Philip in the New Testament, and they spoke. The, there were times when God used a woman um, like Esther, um, like Naomi, Ruth, and things like that. But no, there's no evidence anywhere in all of divine revelation that women should preach. And beyond that, of course, Patricia would absolutely die at the thought of <laughs> getting up here and preaching. That wouldn't be her comfort zone by any stretch of the imagination. Thank you.